Hi everyone and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to talk about convolution neural network which is in short CNN and we will be continuing our series on generative adversarial networks. This is a prerequisite for the next video which is which will be on DC GAN. So that's why I just thought to let's make a detailed video those who want to get into maybe the CNN, those who want the, uh, those who want to freshen up uh, CNN and we'll be going deep diving on CNN. It's a long video so we'll be going deep diving on CNN, interview based questions of CNN and this is this will be also pretty good if you're following my GAN series and the GAN series videos are uh, playlist in the description down box below you can have a look from that okay so what will we study in this video we will talk about the intuition behind convolution neural network the overview of convolution neural network and then we'll start deep diving into like filters padding strided convolutions and there are a lot more that we'll study and then and then I will sum it up and then I will talk about it some interview with questions then I will talk about get to know your dimensions and in get to know your dimensions we'll be talking about after convoluting your image after passing through one layer what will be the output I will give you one formal formula for calculating that output okay so that's uh, that's the basic overview every we will study in depth just to make sure that we'll study in depth okay so first of all I would want I will I will one answer one question which is why we use ANN sorry CNN instead of artificial neural network for training on images I will answer this but if I answer just now I'll be taking more technical terms that's not a good thing to understand to take in first because you don't know about padding pooling etc so I'll be taking at last I will be answering this question after I end up being the uh, making you holding about terminology of machine uh, convolution neural networks okay so that's the that's the thing that we will uh, answer in at last because it's also a very good question to ask in an interview and also there are a lot more interview questions will be at the end of this video Okay, so the timestamps, maybe I have given at the end, but if you have a time, please make a timestamps. Okay, so let's take an let's let's take an example what we do in convolution neural network in convolution neural network we extract the features okay we extract the features maybe we extract some maybe the eyes maybe extract nose maybe a model learns to detect ears that looks like cat so what it'll do uh, let's take an example it will go through each feature and see it's whatever features it matches this if yes then this is a cat okay so what we what 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 we do in convolution neural network we learn um, we, we learn to detect the features from the images how we learn to detect features from the images we have different different filters uh, no we have filters we don't have different, different filters we have filters which will help us to detect the features of the image so let's take an example one filter detects the nose one filter one, one filter learns to detect the nose of the cat the second filter learns to detect the nose or eyes of the cat the third filter may be uh, used to detect or learns to detect the ears of the uh, cat so if we th if um, you have you have a different different filters you have a different different field filters that learns to different different features if anyone works out then it classify it as a cat okay so these these filters are the parameter okay these are to be learned okay so that's the, the how we first of all uh, let, let me give you overview that what we do in convolution we used to extract the features from the image and how we do to classify maybe the listing example of classification so we used to classify an image and used to detect the features and how we classify or how we extract the features using the filters okay but be sure what I'm telling over here filters uh, by the time what is filter button filters are used to detect the features of your images okay so that's the uh, kind of what I'm talking about filters okay so again uh, when I was beginner I was very very confused about what actually the filters are because if you're not listening to me just now what filters are you'll be having a very big problem in CNN so we'll be not understanding anything so again I'm repeating in convolution neural network we used to extract the features from the images and how we extract we extract using the filters okay and the filters are a learnable parameters that we have to learn maybe some some filter learns to detect nose some filters learns to detect the eyes of this cat okay beautiful eyes and beautiful mouth maybe some uh, ears so in the same way we have uh, we have filters that you that learn to detect the different different features 
okay so that's the basic intuition behind uh, filters so what we do in filter how we extract the images using that filter uh, how we extract the features from the image for using that filter so filters are um, let's uh, let, let let me give you one example so what what we let's, let's take an example that we have this image this this is a image grayscale image uh, any um, let's give me, uh, let, let me count one two three four five and we have a one, two, three, four, five. So we have a five by five image, which is in grayscale times um, times the three by three filters. So this is my filter. Understand? This is my filter. Maybe we have some uh, random weights like this. We have some random weights like this. Okay. So we have some random weights. So this is our filter that we have initialized randomly there is you don't need to worry about what you have um, how we implement filters but in tensorflow you have you know, all these things will be done by yourself but you need to design your neural network okay so you can see over here that this is the filter and this is the image which is five by five image and we have a three by three a filter okay and this is this is this is used to detect the features so what we do we convolute this image with this filter what do i say we convolute, convolute this image with this filter. What do I mean by this? We mean, I, I mean by this, what we do, we take this three by three bill filter, we take by th three by three, let's say matrix, I will just say matrix, so this is just a filter. So we take this uh, filter, okay, and then we put up onto the image, and then we put up onto the image. So here's what we do, okay, we put up on the image, and then what we do, we do the multiplication, okay, we do the multiplication. So let's say, let's, let's take an example, we have a, I will just take a small number. Uh, let me uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, and the filters. Yeah, this is just a grayscale. Um, I, I put in. Uh, this is the value of this: uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay. So what what we do? We take in this filter. We take in this filter. We take in this filter. This uh, filter and put it onto that image. Okay. Now what it will do? It will it will multiply one times zero, one times zero plus. 2 times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus 4 times 1 plus 5 times 6 sorry 5 times 1 plus 6 times uh, 1 plus uh, 7 times 1 plus uh, 8 times 1 plus 9 times 2 okay so what we are doing we are just simply uh, broadcasting it like that so we are just multiplying 1 to 0 then 2 to 1 then 3 to 0 okay then this 4 to 1 5 to 1 then 3 to 1 so obviously we have 3 by 3 filter and then it put up onto the um, or, or we can say convolute my image with this feature okay so we put it like this like this uh, here here and then we and then we sum it all up and then we put the answer over here at this first stage okay and whatever may be the answer let's say whatever may be the answer okay then we go then we slide it a little bit uh, at this where then we slide it at a stride of one i will uh, i will just let's say as a factor of one we just slide it at a factor of one okay so here again we do multiplication so we do have the same uh, matrix the same matrix the same filter then uh, we we put it up like this so this will be multiplied with this then some this then this then again we will be multiplying with this then we'll be again multiplying with this then we'll be again multiplying with this then this then this then this okay so that's uh, what we are doing over here so we are broadcasting or putting multiplying with them and uh, adding the sum so we have got here now we got this one okay and we are now we got this one now we go now now we slide with the factor of one again now we slide with the factor of one again now again we simply do the broadcasting thing now we do the multiplication like this i'm just doing to uh, just don't think that uh, i've just I'm, I'm just doing for getting about the best thing means the, about feature what actually the feature starts so okay that's what we are doing and this operator is called convolution operator this operator is called convolution 
operator okay so we do not call multiplication we call convolution operator in terms of convolution neural network so what we are actually doing we are simply taking our filter and this is the learned feature filter that learns as the training goes okay this is a learned feature that learns to detect maybe the nose eyes ears okay so then uh, we just sum it all up and here we got the, the first then second then third and got okay so we just multiply then sum it all up okay so that's what we are doing again we do the factor of one again we do the factor of one and then again we do the same and then we got this then we got this and we got this then we got this at the same way okay and then we do the same thing and then we stress if we slide with a factor of one and then we end up in last and it, it will go obviously over here it will go obviously over here and then here then here then here i just fast forward it okay so it will go first then slide over and then third then then it will go down and like this then side of one factor of one factor of one then go again down fact factor of one factor of that last okay so it ends up being like this i will, I will show you one um and animations okay i will show you one so this is the filter this is the, the, just a basic terminology this is the filter of size 3 by 3 matrix and this is a convolution operator convolution operator this is a grayscale image which is 5 times 5 times 1 you can also do with a grayscale sorry rgb i will explain you what what we do in rgb we say uh, we have let's take listing example we have 5 times 5 times 3 okay and so we take the filter the same 3 times 3 times 3 okay like this uh, again the new and then again like this okay again the grayscale again like this okay so we have i will just just you will get with the help of an animations what you are doing so we are just taking the this the first channel then the on the first channel of the image then the second channel the second second channel the third channel the third channel then putting up that and also the output will be three times three times three three channels okay so that's what we are doing in rgb so let's deep dive so what what you are doing you can see the image what what is doing actually we have ha we have a filter which is three by three filter which is three by three filter we have a filter which is three by three filter so i don't want it to be I do, okay so we have an uh, let me put an arrow so we have an image we have this uh, and animations and we have a filter which is three by three filter and what it is doing it is starting from the top it is going a factor by one it is it is, it is striding or it's a sliding by a factor of one and then summing it all up and putting at that point okay so you can see over here like what what we are doing so we are ending up with the same matrix from the above that we got okay uh, you can see that and the credits is to goes to axel tev not for uh, giving me access to this permissions uh, permission to show you up this image in as education purposes big thank you to alex uh, tev not please be sure to give him a shout out and a comment okay so you can see the convolution how it is working pause this video see it or uh, just mm, see it what what you're doing we're taking out the filter convoluting onto the image by your convolution operator just remember that okay let's see more example what is tried at convolutions you can see over that we have a means a very large filter we have one two um then we have a total of i think of 12 filters and we are th we have three images so you can see over here that what we are doing so we are what what we are doing we are going with the factor of two previously we are going with the factor of one like sliding over one now we are sliding over two to fast power forward our convolution neural network okay so that's the thing that uh, this trial convolution tells so in the in our previous example we were going with this factor of one let's take an example of we are here then we are going here then we are going here by a factor of now one now now if let's say we are here by the first time then we go the factor of two okay then we go the factor of two like this okay so you can see over here that how how it is going and again credit goes to alex thief not thanks i uh, gave given a shout out in the comment just it is a python program and uh, this this kind of thing okay so you can see how it is convoluting we have different different features and how it is being convoluted and every filter is different different features from the images 
okay? Okay, so when a word term terminology, what we, have, what we have seen so far, we have seen convolution operator, what the what, what we mean by featured extraction filters, and then we have seen uh, strident convolution in featured extraction, we are just putting our feature filter and putting on an image to extract the features from the image, and then we have a strident convolution that slide with a factor of two, and then we have padding. Okay, that's great thing to ask, what is padding? And padding, uh, what, what we do, we pad our image with zero. So let's take, let's take an example. We, we have this image. So what we do, we simply uh, pad our image with zeros, okay? With zeros like this. You can see over here that we have an image. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, five by five image. And we padded it, padded it up. Uh, you can see over that padded with up with the zeros is called a zero padding. And if you know about padding, uh, what what uh, what we do in padding, we simply preserve information. So let's take um, let's take an example that uh, we are doing a normal convolutions like this. So it may lose some um, it, it it may lose some information. It may lose some information. So for preserving the information, what we do, we take out the feature, we take out a filter, and then uh, we, we take out image padded the zeros and then we just start convoluting our image to preserve information so that there is a less loss of information because in convolution there is also a disadvantage where we lose information of the image so that's the problem so here what we do for that we added a zero padding with a, a one factor we just added only one padding over there with zeros inside that okay Another thing, what what uh, there is one one more padding option, which you, what you do, uh, instead of zero padding, you just add with the same padding like this. Let's say an example two, three, four, five, five, six. Then you do not two, three, four, five, six like this. Okay, the same padding as the corners of the images were having. Okay, pretty much is what I'm trying to say you here. Okay, so again, I'm I'm re recapitulating what we have seen so far. We have seen convolution um, feature extraction with the help of filters filters are used to uh, filters are learnable parameter which learns different features just what what is do is just uh, so convolves the image with the let's say let's take an example a three by three image convolves the image with the stride of one as we have seen so far okay so uh, you have to determine how many features uh, filters you have and wanted to use so let's try some of the let's try some of the oops yeah, so let's try to some of the what um, uh, hyperparameters, okay? First of all, you have to choose how many number of filters you have to learn, okay? So first of all, number of filters. Second, how num num number of a convolution operator, convolution, okay? Number of a convolution layer, Conv convolution layer, okay? Then we have again, we have seen the stride, what's the stride should be? Okay, if you want to go it fast, if you have larger image, then go it fast. Okay, maybe the stride, stride of three, stride of four, like that. Okay, and then keep it at one, stride of one. A stride of one is sliding over there as the normal convolution. Padding means if you, if there is, if you, if you set padding equals to valid, if you set path padding equals to valid, then, it's, then it means that you don't want padding. If you set it to be same padding, then if you have padding of uh, one padding, means that, like this, with the zeros inside that, okay? Pretty much is what I'm trying to say you here. So I have a notes uh, in front of me. So let me give you an equation after applying padding. But just now let's leave that because if I tell you just now, it will be a little bit confusing for you also. Okay, so we have seen so far padding and then uh, strider convolutions and then some more thing. Okay, so let's go further into more thing. Pooling layer. So what do I mean by pooling layer? In pooling layer, we, we make our big image into small image. We simply, what, what we do, we transform our image or we downsample our image, okay? From a bigger image to the smaller image. There is a huge problem. Huge problem is that we lose information, but we try to contain as much as information as we can, okay? So there are various types of pooling layers, but let's first understand what I mean by pooling layer. Pooling layer means what we do, we apply a pooling layer on an image that simply uh, downsample or uh, make down slow your uh, small your image. So let's take an example, you have uh, maybe the uh, four by four image. I think so, I'm correct and correct. Yeah, you have a four by four image after applying a pooling layer of two by two, two by two, two by two pooling layer. Then you end up being a two by two uh, image. 
So that's called the downsampling. So you are downsampling with the help of pulling layer containing as much as information as you can. Okay, this is very much used. Some something called as max pooling. Okay, so in, we have max pooling and then we have average pooling. Okay, so what do you mean by uh, max pooling? Industry uses max pooling much rather than. Uh, that average pooling so what do you mean by max pooling max pooling means we apply a two by two convolutions over there so you we just uh, take this uh, two by two over here we take two by two um, like this and we choose uh, the max of this so we take in 20 is the max of this then we put it in here then we go here then you go here two by two like this then we go with a stride of one with a stride of one so we, we select 30 okay then we go here we select the most uh, I think I'm uh, no, no no so sorry um, I, I was also a little bit confused so we take the 2 by 2 then here then we select 20 then we go here then then we select 30 then we go here 3 34 then we select 1 and 12 go here then we select any one let's take an example 37 so what we do we down sample image from 4 by 4 to 2 by 2 containing as much as information as we can okay Okay, so that's uh, that's the pooling layer, uh, just for just for understanding. So what we have seen so far, we have seen so far that we have an image. Okay, we have extracted the image. For, we have extracted the image using the filters. How we extract it? We convolved our image with that filter with the strider with the with the sliding of stride of one. We can also this is the hyperparameter which is sliding a sliding. So that's called the factor by which slide. It's called the strider convolutions. And we have also seen this. Uh, padding, which means padding your uh, images with zeros or maybe the same padding with the corners. So that's called the padding layer. And then we have a pooling layer in which we upsample our, sorry, downsample our image. And the positive pooling layer, we have upsampling layer in TensorFlow. All don't, don't worry about implementation, it's already available in TensorFlow. Please feel free to ping me up in the comment box. I've definitely put a video on the TensorFlow about all this CNN. Okay, so here we have a one, uh, here we have this, uh, you can see over that two by two layer. I would here we have a two by two matrix of image. Let's take an example. We have a two by two matrix. So we upsample this layer by putting it's uh, by putting one to the corner, then two over here, and then three over here, and four over here, and padding these all to zeros. Okay, these all to zeros like this okay so we sub sample so it may have you it will be blur obviously it will be blur and here it may be we have a small number of information and but good information and here we have a blur image okay okay so what do we have seen in summary so in convolutions are used to extract the features from the image do uh, we do element wise product and sum them all up to get the extra features from them strider convolutions use the slide at the rate of n pixel how, how much pixel that we want to slide the factor by which padding has to preserve important features by just padding it from the edges then we use pooling layer for reducing the size and we use upsampling layer or transposed convolutions for increasing the size of an image Okay, so that's the basic intuition behind this all convolution operator, convolution neural networks. Now I hope that you know convolution operator, uh, convolution neural network. Okay, we will develop a CNN model, but uh, let's develop a simple CNN model over here. Okay, so let me remove this all so that I, I have a space to write. Okay, so let's say you wanted to build a classifier that can detect, oops, oops that can, um, I could say, that can simply, I will just make a simple, that, that can classify dog and a cat. Okay, so that's the basic intuition. So what you do, you add a convolution layer, you add a con first, what you do, you simply take an input, just add an input, then you take an input, then you add a con layer with a filter of maybe 64 and a kernel size of maybe the three by three with a stride of two. Then you go further into uh, maybe some batch normalization, then a leaky ReLU, uh, act one activation function, okay? Then you go further into and then you go for the quant layer then we have a batch a batch normalization to reduce the overfitting then we have a leaky value then again we have a quant layer with 32 filters with some uh, with other the kernels kernel size this is this is the, um, the size of the filter is called the kernel size okay then we add a quant layer then we have maybe the 32 filters with three by three filters again with a once one one stride and then we flatten our layer we then we add a fully connected layer then we have a fully connected layer then we add uh, 
again the one dense layer uh, output layer okay so we are just add a dense layer with two units and activation equals to sigmoid and then we get our output y hat so we've developed our cnn model so that's the cnn architectures okay so that's it for uh, summary and uh, convolution neural network so now let's discuss about something okay so what I want to discuss over here, I want to discuss to get to know the dimensions because when you're designing your neural network, no, you should understand your neural network better than uh, your machine. What, what do I mean by this? Uh, for you have to design your neural network. No one wanted to give you the designation. You have to design how many filters to use, how many stride of use. So you should um, take care of this while designing that what will be the output size after I convolute your image? What will be the output size? Okay. So what you, what you uh, we have for this example, we have a 39 by 39 by 3 image. Okay now we uh, this is the layer number one where we where we apply a convolution layer now this on this image on this image this is a, let's let's assume that this is a three by three image this let's assume this is a three by three image okay so let's assume this is a three by three image we have a 39 by 39 and then what we do we apply a convolution layer we apply a convolution layer with a filter size of 3 by 3 with the number of filters to be 10 means we have a 10 filters then means 10 learning features that can detect eyes ears etc then we have size this is the kernel size in tensorflow a 3 by 3 kernel size with this striding weight of 1 padding is equal to 0 means we do, do not we are not adding any kind of padding to preserve information okay after applying convolution operator convolution layer with these hyperparameters what will be the output great question to ask what will be the output the, how we can determine the output we have one formula that I know <laughs> that I've written over here the how we can ident identify we have n minus f plus 2p divided by s plus 1 so this is used to determine the output of your image and again uh, the, the dimensions okay the output uh, after the convolution layer so you can again add n minus f plus 2p by s plus 1 the same output okay so let's uh, let's uh, fit it over here so n here is the input size which is 39 minus filters which is the uh, the size of the filter which is 3 3 by 3 obviously we write 3 plus padding of 0 so 2 times 0 is 0 divided by 1 plus 1 okay times again the same thing 39 minus 3 plus 0 divided by 1 plus 1 okay after doing this you get 37 sorry uh, you get uh, i think uh, 36 plus 1 divided by 1 so you get 37 times 37 again the same output so after convolving you will be getting 37 by 37 by 10 why I'm writing 10 over here we have a filters means the learnable filters we have a um, number of features is 10 which is the dimension okay we have a number of features which is 10 which is the dimension okay now if we apply again the convolution layer again so let me delete that I think that I don't have so much of space but I have to delete this all okay so after I apply convolution layer, uh, just pause this video and see the layer number two and try to fit it on the on this form formula I will write in the top just just wait so here I'm going to write one uh, term over here that here we have n minus f plus 2p divided by s plus 1 okay <laughs> no, no no let's let's do that okay so we have like this and this is the formula and after after applying convolution layer again now now let's fit and now our n equals to 37 minus number of a filter is 20 no 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 not filters no not number of filters this is a filter size filter size is 5 filter size is 5 plus padding of 0 so obviously 0 divided by s which is 2 plus 1 okay the same simply gives us 17 if you do this you will get 17 okay so that's what you're going to gonna gonna to get uh, if you if you sub subtract it from there you will be first of all getting 32 32 divided by 2 which is simply getting 16 plus 1 which is 17 okay so you are getting 17 again you do times the same thing so 17 by 17 by 
20 means now you have a 20 features now so now you'll be getting at let me write in the black pen so it looks good uh, 17 by 17 by 20 and then you will apply your last convolution layer like this so let let me remove this again and just try to pause this video and try to find what what will be the output shape of that okay so just try to find that let me remove this all yeah removed okay so just what you do you just uh, uh, apply a, uh, again the same form formula with these hyperparameters so uh, n minus oops so my n is now 17 minus we have f which is 5 plus 0 divided by s which is our s equals to 2 plus 1 plus 1 so that simply equals to 17 minus 5 plus 0 means 17 minus 5 12 which is output is 7 okay 7 and then 7 times 7 times 40 so we have 40 40 parameters we have a 40 features we have 40 features that learns different different features and you have a 7 times 7 for each feature okay so we have uh, i think that you now understood how we get to get to know the dimensions of our image and i really really glad that you are till here okay so we have done till now now what we can do we can flatten our layer we can flatten our layer which is seven times seven times 40 we can flatten our layer seven times seven times 40 seven seven fourteen um i think so seven forty nine times four four nine thirty six three four four just sixteen and then uh, i think it's 19 okay so we are ending ended up with 1960 okay so we have these much output this is the output of our after applying a flattened layer means when a one vector so that's may, may be usually asked as a interview questions okay so in the in interview be sure to remember n minus f plus 2p by s plus 1 i'm going to give you more uh formulas for this if you want to calculate the feature maps so here means the dim dimensions so here is this floor of floor of n minus f plus 2p divided by s plus 1 times the floor of n minus f plus 2p divided by s plus 1 so that's the feature map for taking out the dimension of the feature map and again you n is the input f is the filter size and p is the padding and s is the stride okay after applying a pooling layer what will be the dimension here is the form formula for that n h which is the height of that image f by s plus 1 s plus 1 times n w here is the width by minus f divided by s plus 1 times n c and n c is the number of channels okay quite simple no uh, yeah it's quite simple so if you apply a padding after apply, uh, applying a padding layer your output will be uh, the dimensions will be like this minus f plus 1 and the same thing same formula you can use either you can say me you can use the same formula so here i've given some more formulas to understand in more deep so i think i have covered all my notes over here means all the interview questions that i've written over here so one thing is left to answer that why we use cnn instead of an ann now i think that you understood ann is capable for learning single feature representation it cannot learn multiple features or complex images and here it's learning even the thousand of features okay so that's why we use convolution neural network as using the pooling padding etc there are a lot more okay so in the next video i'm going to talk about a dc GAN, the convolutional GAN, and i really really hope that you that you have enjoyed this tutorial now i i hope that i have not got any kind of interview questions now i have covered everything if you have seen this video now you'll be able to ace your interview in a convolution neural network my favorite domain to work on which is computer vision okay okay so great so now in the next video we'll be talking about deep convolution GAN we'll be generating the images of the faces of the human faces which will be the RGB and designing that neural network is usually it takes uh, time to design neural network because you have to do the calculations and you have to simply tune use a Keras tuner and let's uh, I'll be talking about everything in the next video where we do practical okay so thank you for seeing this video I'll be catching up in the next video till then bye bye